Okay, so I'm not going to do anything fancy here. Like, I'm not going to do a whole print. This is just purely to see what it turned out like. So I'm going to do... Hmm, how do I want to do this? I'll put some paint down. I'll show you what it looks like on the plate, and then I'll stamp that off onto the side of the paper so you can see what it looks like there as well. And I'm just using black so it'll show up well. another way you could use them. Hold on now. Well, I have too much paint. You could just brayer onto the stamp. I'm going to use this. So that's one way you could use it. stamp well. I like that. Let's try out our X's. Ooh, I like that one. Yay! We need a second print. Nice. Let's see. Let's try our little fishies. <laughs> I feel like there's a bubble in there. Library. Here, my washing machine. I apologize. Fishies, they're cute. I like it. I'm curious about this one. I have a feeling I'm gonna love this one. I don't want this paint to get too dry. So let's try. Oh, that piece is coming off. It's the one that I accidentally cut. I don't think enough paint's coming off. I think I was just way too heavy with the paint. that one down too hard. Let's just 
so I'll go all the way across. And we'll try our squares. Or are they diamonds? <laughs> so you can make a pattern with these if you wanted to. I, I already did the crosses up there. So I don't know how well this is going to turn out because there's a lot of paint on there. But they stamp well. Yeah, I have way too much paint on my... Way too much paint. <laughs> I knew right away I had way too much paint on my plate. So I think I'm going to wait for this to dry and then I'll put a layer of paint on it and pull it and see what we get from that. Okay, the paint should be dry by now. I had enough time to go blow dry my hair, so <laughs> I think this paint should be good and dry. My hair is short, but it takes forever to blow dry. getting dry. I don't think that's enough paint. It doesn't want to come out, but then I know it'll just come out in one big blob. Oh, I'm rubbing it off. I'm not having a good day today. Time for a new tube of paint. <sighs> Just place the back of this one. how often I'll use the fish, but I like it. Ooh, that is kind of cool. I don't think the paint was completely dry. I really like that. This was not intended for making jelly prints, <laughs> like this video wasn't intended, but, I mean, I gotta try and pull that. So I'm going to grab... Get this paint off my brayer. And of course, I'm going to use this color bright aqua green. I don't know if I can make anything without using that color at some point. Now, I didn't wait for the yellow, what was left of the yellow, to dry on my plate, so. I don't know what this is going to turn out like. Oh, there is something on my plate. 
or a piece of plastic or something. Not sure what that came from. No, I wouldn't have a knot <laughs> in your muscles. I almost feel the same. Okay, let's try out some of the other stamps and not go too heavy with the paint. Okay, my table is such a mess. If you saw it, you'd probably be like, I wouldn't say disgusted. It's not like it's gross stuff, but it's a mess. Okay. I actually don't recommend brayering over the stamps because I find it tends to shift them. So, now you're not getting quite as bold of a print with this because I went lighter on the paint. Ooh, reminds me of like an aqua under the water. I think that's all the stamps that I made. Well, since that looks like water, <laughs> maybe I'll go in with these fish and do a totally cheesy print. <laughs> Foam is coming from everywhere. Okay. I have such a mess. See, this is why I don't clean my gel plate. Because I love these marks. And there's our fish. And you can see, if you turn it this way, you can see some of the fish from the other print. But you could turn it this way, and this is like an underground, you know, under the water. This could be like your seaweed and stuff, and this could be some of the land. 
and there's a current and the fish. <laughs> So, should I try any more prints? I don't know how much paint I have left on these stamps. Nope. Not enough left. I don't think there's any paint left on the plate either. Nope. So, as you can see, I mean, this was way too much paint. Went way too heavy with paint in that one. This is a good amount here. This was the second print we pulled. And there was still too much um, paint on the plate. This I love. I don't know, what am I going to do? I feel like I should do one, one more. I'm not exactly sure what. a long way. Remember that when using your gel plate. I'm just going to try something. Not sure how it'll turn out. I'm gonna do one layer of black paint with this handmade stamp. And I'm gonna let that dry. I'm gonna go in with a second color and then do another one of our handmade stamps. And then go in with a third color. and go in with another stamp. See, if you push really hard, the cardboard takes off some of the paint, which is actually a good thing. Ooh. That gets rid of a lot when you do it like that. So I'm going to let that dry can see. I get a white piece of paper. Can you see it better? So I'm going to let that dry and then we'll be back with the second layer. Okay, I'm going for it whether the paint is dry or not. <laughs> I'm just going to use this yellow, but where I had such a hard time with it before, I think I will choose a different color. Hmm. I think I will try this nickel azo go yellow. may actually work better because they are so much more fluid. Now, what do I want to use? Oh, don't leave your stamps face down on a piece of paper. It's not smart. Not smart at all. Oh, friggin' egg. <laughs> oh well. 
it'll add to the non-perfect stamping, right? <laughs> I'm gonna go and I'm taking off the excess if there is any. This is actually removing the previous layer of black. So since it's doing that, I'm only going to do this side because I want some of the stamp from the first pull. So I'm just going to do those three right there. And that is it. And I'm going to let that dry. And then we'll do a third and maybe final layer. We'll see. Okay. So that layer is dry. These don't take nearly as long to dry as like the thicker paints. So now I'm going to go in with some turquoise. And I really need to learn to close my paints when I am done. underneath and this oh some of the paint's coming off I'm just having one heck of a time today aren't I try to pull this one instead of letting it dry and adding another layer. The under layers already seem so willing to come off when I was just rolling that paint on. I could have made better color choices, but still, let's do it this way. I like that. These showed up really well. You can see it's faint, but you can see that first stamp that we did. You can see that in the background. The X's. I thought about it, I should have stamped it and then stamped off and then stamped again. I didn't even think about it. There we go. I like that. So, go make some handmade foam stamps and do some gel printing. And have fun. Thanks for watching. Bye.